Welcome back all you drunken sailors. Matt with Eddie's Guitars coming to you as always from St. Louis, Missouri. And I've got an absolutely stellar piece to share with you folks today. This is another guitar that was on display at the 2020 Winter NAMM show just about a month ago. And this was at the Santa Cruz Guitar Company booth. And kind of an interesting uh, story. Uh, I actually spent quite a bit of time specking this guitar with Carolyn at Santa Cruz. Uh, in 2019 and when the guitar was completed they said it's done and we can ship it to you but do you mind if we take it to the NAMM show and display it they were really blown away by this guitar I was not able to attend the NAMM show so uh, when it finally got to our shop I very much so saw what all the fuss was about and why they wanted to display it there at the show very special guitar with some absolutely once-in-a-lifetime tone woods you can see that this is a beautiful Santa Cruz, highly customized OM. Like I said, we had access to some incredible tone woods, thanks to some good friends of ours. Uh, but this is a standard scale length, 14 fret guitar. Uh, in my opinion, the OM is one of, if not the most versatile size and shape out there. It'll really easily cover any general rhythm playing, some good flat picking, and it really excels for delicate finger style playing. Uh, and really is wonderful for open tunings and just keeping a nice clarity in the lower registers as well. You can see that the top that we started with here is an absolutely perfect Tunnel 13 Redwood top. And I will not go into the entire story about this particular soundboard material at this exact moment, but it does have an incredible backstory. And uh, all that said to say, it's incredible special tone wood. Uh, it's, it seems to be a bit lighter and a bit stiffer than your average redwood that you might find out there otherwise. And because of that, it has a real sense of immediacy to it and a huge level of dynamics. But it still has that wonderful, you know, kind of kind of soft and warm and cozy redwood quality to it all at the same time. Kind of wonderful things happening all simultaneously there. The body, the neck, and the headstock we bound in Brazilian rosewood, just really classy dark rosewood binding. Back and sides of this guitar are amazing. This is the elusive fiddleback mahogany. This is hands down some of my favorite stuff. Wonderful, wonderful tone wood. This is 5A or some might call it master grade quarter sawn Honduran mahogany. And uh, we were able to access this wood from my friend Isaac, uh, previously of Hibden Hardwoods. Hibden Hardwoods is here in St. Louis, and they were the folks responsible uh, for bringing this fiddleback mahogany log up north to us from Honduras. So um, big thanks to them. I'm certainly not the only individual who had access to this wood, but it being here in St. Louis was a very rare opportunity. Uh, we were able to send some of this wood to a few of our builders, uh, one of them, of course, being Santa Cruz, and uh, we've all just been knocked out by this fiddleback mahogany, just incredible stuff. All the way up on the headstock, you can see a gorgeous quarter sawn Brazilian rosewood veneer. Plain Jane as it gets, there's not even a logo all the way up top there. Wanted to keep it really classy, really clean, and mission accomplished, big time. Those are gold Waverly tuning machines with the snake wood buttons. We did a beautiful, again, quarter sawn Brazilian rosewood fingerboard. Has the logo right there at the 12th fret, otherwise there's no inlays, again, keeping it very clean. And then we did a matching Brazilian rosewood pyramid bridge that has a custom two and a quarter bridge spacing down there, just a touch wider than the, uh, the standard spacing from Santa Cruz, so super comfortable guitar. I really like using, you know, in this context, especially with the mahogany back and side guitar, I like adding some of those Brazilian rosewood parts like the fingerboard and the, uh, the bridge down here. It really makes for a cool vibe, and I might be imagining things, but it seems to, if only slightly, lighten the guitar up because this is a lighter material than ebony, which would otherwise be at the fingerboard and bridge, so just cool small detail. Under the hood, we've got fully scalloped Advanced X Adirondack Spruce Braces. They've all been attached with hot hide glue. We're talking best case scenario for uh, maximum resonance, maximum sustain, and again, huge dynamic quality out of this guitar. So uh, I've had a very, very good time recording this beauty, and we'll take a listen to it now. <laughs> 